it's time for Edbird's top running shoe deals for May 2021. Hey guys, you know I'm always out to try and save you a few Earth credits. You know, Earth credits are hard to come by and easy to let go of. You know, so many other things, isn't there, that we've got to sort out in life with our Earth credits when we should be spending them on running shoes. That's my outlook anyway. I'm not sure everybody shares the same opinion though. Okay, let's not dilly-dally, let's get straight to those deals. Over on the Nike.com website, they have something for Flyknit React fans. A number of men's sizes in the Epic React Flyknit 2 have appeared as if by magic. I think Nike may have found them out the back in the factory or something, or in the warehouse. The black and white colorway is in the majority of men's sizes for only 78 Earth credits right now. Earth credits just means pounds, all right? Some people are like, why do you keep talking about Earth credits? It's anything to break the monotony. React formulas have changed, says me. And many runners swear by those old React Flyknit models. The rep just feels different, it does. I'm sure of it, it's not just me. I don't think I'm just imagining it. The Infinity and React flying it is also reduced on the Nike website right now in a multitude of different colours as well. It seems like they've pretty much picked every single colour combination and had a go. Some of them look better than others, I have to say. Time to grab a bargain on that model, which is a tad lighter than the second version. Normally things go the other way, don't they? It gets lighter, but yeah. The second one was heavier. You can pick up the React Infinity Run Flyknit version one for just under 100 Earth credits. Those interested in ZoomX who don't want to shell out for a Vaporfly model might want to check out the Vomero 15. There's some serious dough for the ZoomX Vaporfly Next% Percent 2, but you can grab the Stone Light Army. Is that right? But you can pick up the Stone Light Army and Black version. It's only 85 Earth credits right now. I think most sizes are still available here in the UK. You've got ZoomX with that strange unknown midsole material. I think it was like SPO2 or something. I really like a bit of SPO2 in a mattress. But you can get a taste of what Nike's top line cushion is really like in the Vomero 50. Last one from the swoosh. A number of sizes left in the Zoom Fly 3. You all know that it wasn't my favorite, but loads of other people like it, so that's why it's here. I'm just one man with a cap. If you're after a carbon plate offering, then you can pick one up for under 100 Earth credits. It's not very often you can say that. If it's your first time here, guys, or you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also click the bell below for notifications of when I launch those new videos for you. You can really help the channel out too by giving this video a thumbs up like, and also grabbing yourself some merchandise from the links below. We're talking stripes next, guys. Three of them. Those German shoe masters have discounted a load of models, and I'm here to tell you about it. The Daily Workhorse Solar Boost 3 that I particularly enjoy for its smooth nature. You would have seen me sailing along recently in my initial review video for that one. This true to size shoe has been reduced to 112 earth credits, which I think is a sweet spot for it. If you prefer that denser boost material underfoot, then the Solar Boost 3 could be right up your alley. The Solar Yellow and Dark Grey versions are both available in a number of sizes right now over at the Adidas website. So get on your fingertips right now. Adidas are clearly switching up lots of their daily models to light strike only. We see that increasingly happening and we also saw it happen in the SL20. We got the 0.2 version now. They just could have called it the SL2021, I suppose. I'm actually finding quite a few people like this shoe. It's a reasonable daily option. Maybe I'll give it another try. What do you say? Oddly, I've noticed they started calling it just the SL20, but we all know you're just an imposter. This one's up for about 80 Earth credits on the Adidas website right now. Loads of sizes available, so don't you fret. I think some people might actually prefer the upper material here on the SL20.2 to the original version of the SL20, but I was firmly a fan of the first one. It's a bit like the band, isn't it, in Spinal Tap. They were called the originals, but then there was already a band called the originals, so they called themselves the new originals, but then the other band disbanded, so they called themselves the originals again. More foam here, though, in the second version, and it might benefit, actually, a heavier-built runner. You've just got a more substantial mass of foam there to distribute the impact. Start Fitness. They're at it again. They got the Reebok Floatride Energy 3 up at a stonking price. There's a whole variety of sizes there for about 68 Earth credits. I think it's a steal really for the cushion that you've got here 
The upper is really nice too. Great daily offering, very versatile. I think there's a few sizes in the black version, in fact, for 60 Earth credits. Reasonable weight, very breathable upper, which is what you want right now, you know, as we've got these hot temperatures here in the UK. No, I had to put the heating back on today and it's been raining once again. I think it looks really great in the cold gray and black variant. Pretty much all sizes available, so go and enjoy. If you want more midsole mass, then you should go for the Reebok Symmetros model. It could be your saviour if you're looking for some more substantial cushion. A couple of different colorways are available now at Start Fitness. I have to say I don't work for them. I'm not a Start Fitness employee or anything like that. I'm just a man with a lot of shoes. You've got the night black and court blue, and also the classic court black, both at 79 of your Earth credits. Both of those Reebok shoes I've just talked about are great in quality and durability. Don't listen to the naysayers. A lot of people out there saying, Reebok, no, they didn't make good running shoes. It's not true. Don't listen. Don't listen to them. If you've ever been anxious at all about making a purchase, get one of these Reebok shoes. Rest easy. Sportshoes.com. Quite a lot of money from me recently. They've got a few sizes of the Adios 5 from Adidas available. I think it's the lime green variant, which is refreshing. Only 70 Earth credits, so... It's hard to lose, really, with that type of price. Such a lightweight option could provide a really good tool for some speed work or even some racing. If you favour those low stacks, then the Adios 5 could be a winner. Boost in the heel wedge and Continental Rubber down below with the classic torsion system. I mean, that thing's been around since I was a boy. I can remember looking at some of my brochures when I was like seven or eight or something and looking at the torsion system thinking, wow, I wish I had that. Like, I don't mean I wish I personally had the torsion system. I mean on the shoe, yeah, yeah, okay. The Adios 5, one for the serious road runners out there. I'm not sure it'd be too good on trails. Quite a thin layer of Continental there. For the ladies, we also have some deals on the Vomero 15. That's been discounted in most sizes to 85 Earth credits. I think you've got a black and gold colorway on that one. Again, that's a colorway that I wish was done in men's sizes as well. I don't know why we have to have different colorways. Can you please sort that out, shoe manufacturers, so that ladies can get some of the same colorways as us and the men can get some of the same colorways as the ladies? Thanking you. Start Fitness have got the Energy 3 for ladies too. There's a range of sizes there and it's only 59 Earth credits. Oh yeah. It's hard not for me to fully recommend that shoe. Every time I wear it, it just feels good, no matter what pace I run at. It's just a really good tool to have in a runner's daily rotation. There's little to dislike about it. Maybe the, um, no, the, no, it's just, just a really great all-rounder. A real Botham of a shoe. I only wish they had the same upper ethos with the Run Fast 3. I love the Run Fast 2, but they've really taken a step backwards with the upper on the third version. I did spot that they've slightly discounted the 1080 V11 as well. I think that might have been on Start Fitness in ladies' sizes, so do check that out. If you know of any other hot deals, do furnish me with the info down in the comments. Musical interlude time. I can't quite believe way back in now in 2002, Roddy Frame released the album Surf. Surely it can't be that long ago. It's a beautiful album, all acoustic tracks, Roddy Frame's vocals sounding fantastic. One of those side men really that's accompanied loads of other artists over the last sort of 20, 30 years, but has a superb songwriting skill set. My two favorite tracks on this album are Small World and Turning the World Around. Both of those feature some beautiful guitar playing. Roddy Frame always has a real knack of picking chord changes and progressions that really send a shiver down the spine. I love the words in Small World, the lyrics are fantastic, and the guitar playing is just so beautifully melodic in turning the world around, it really is a gem. Some of the best recorded acoustic guitar sounds as well of the last 20 years. I can't really remember another album that's got such pure acoustic sounds, the woodiness and resonance of the body of the guitar, the finger-picked string noises from higher up the fretboard. It really is a fantastic album. Do go and check it out. From 2002 by Roddy Frame, it's called Surf. Okay, thanks for joining me right to the end of the video today, guys. I hope some of these running shoe bargains help you out and save you a few Earth credits. 
If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when we launch those new videos for you. And it really helps the channel out too if you give this video a thumbs up like and share this video with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.